everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine. For those who are new, I'm a casual reseller on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. For today's video, I'm just gonna quickly go over my listing process and how I kind of make my listings for both Poshmark and eBay. If you like reselling content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So to start off, there are four different ways that you can showcase your items. The first one being a flat lay, the second one being hanging, third one being showcased on a mannequin, and the fourth one being modeling. So there are two different ways that I like to take my pictures. One is a flat lay, and number two is to hang the item. For my flat lays, I do have hardwood floor in my house, so I do like that clean um, look to the background. But sometimes if the weather's not cooperating and I turn on my pod lights in my house, then it does leave quite a bit of glare on my items. So instead, I bought this backdrop off of Amazon. It's just this marble flat lay sheet of paper. And that way I don't have that glare if I am using my pod lights. It does still leave a shadow um, depending on the angle that I'm photographing. So sometimes I do like to hang things as well. For flat lays, I usually like to photograph smaller items, things that are a lot faster to photograph, or if I'm providing measurements, then I'll use a flat lay because sometimes I'll take a picture of the measuring tape just so that if somebody does open a case saying that the measurements were wrong, then I have pictures to provide proof. Thankfully, that's never happened to me before, but I have heard of some cases that have been opened because of that. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. So my house isn't the biggest, so I don't always have the most room for my reselling business. So for flat lays, I usually just use this space here, um, either if I'm using the hardwood and there's no glare, or if I'm putting that marble print um, down below here. So here I'm just photographing a few items. These are a pair of Lululemon leggings, so they don't take up very much space. As you can see, the background isn't very large, so larger items such as long dresses and jackets won't be able to fit on the background, and therefore I would choose to hang the item instead. I don't always include measurements in my listings, but if it's one category that I do include measurements, it's definitely denim. So I'd photograph the item like normal, and in the end, I would measure the waist, rise, and inseam, and include it either in the description or include pictures with the measuring tape in the picture. I didn't want to put a new nail into my walls. Prior to a recent realization, I just used a hanger and I kind of stuck it in between a door frame there and I would hang my items there. But sometimes the background is a little bit messy, not as clean looking as it could get. And yesterday I actually realized that I have a hook right here just hanging this um, wooden frame here. So I just took that down and I'm able to hang things on that hook there. As for the wall hanging, um, as I mentioned before, I would just hang like a hanger up there and then close the door and then I can use that as like a hook. But as I mentioned before, um, now I have an area where I can put the hook. So it's not as complicated and it's a lot faster because I have to you know, remove the hanger if I have to flip over the item and sometimes the items fall down as well. So here I'm just photographing this cold shoulder top. I decided to hang it just because it wouldn't provide the same silhouette if I were to do a flat lay. As for this sweater, I could have done either a flat lay, but because I was already set up to photograph um, from the other sweater, then I decided to hang it. When I'm deciding to either use a flat lay or to hang the item, usually I just look at the item to see if hanging will provide a better look for it. That usually goes for um, sometimes the jackets or tops, like let's say it might take a really long time to kind of provide that um, flat lay, like because it's either like silk or it's hard to kind of provide that silhouette of what it really looks like, then I'll hang the item instead. Other items that I like to hang are dresses just so that it gives a better idea of how it flows um, and it's a lot faster to photograph. So there's one editing app that I frequently use, uh, not as often as I used to, and that is PicTap Go. I believe there is a fee, like it was pretty minimal, like $5 or something like that. I don't know, it was just a one-time fee so I forgot what the cost is, but um, basically it's really easy to to either make your pictures brighter or you know trying to fix the color if it's a little bit off. I mostly use this app to kind of brighten my pictures as I mentioned before or if um, the picture is coming out a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler than it's actually in real life. I try to match the item as close as I can just so that there's no um, discrepancies in the listing versus the actual item. I'm going to show an example of how I use this editing app for my pictures. This is a Torrid blazer. 
the picture is a different color than what it actually is in real life, just slightly off. So I would choose to edit the picture and there are a bunch of different filters that are free on the most basic subscription. The most common filters that I use are light on, light out, uh, cool it down or warm it up. So you can see the differences between the most um, for this filter versus the middle and it is most similar to the middle one. So that's the filter that I'm going to choose and save it to my gallery. I'm going to share another example where I'd use this app to edit a picture for my listings. As you can see, this picture is a little bit dark. It does look okay, but if I were to use the light it on function, it looks way brighter and, in my opinion, more attractable to a potential buyer. So I can easily brighten up the picture and then save it to my gallery. So that concludes today's video. I know it was a quick one, but I just want to go through my steps of how I list things. Let me know how you guys list things, if it's different or the same, if you actually use a mannequin instead. Um, I was thinking of investing in one, like let's say when a store was closing. I just didn't want to invest in a mannequin because they can be quite expensive um, in the situation that I didn't really like using it and it's just wasted storage space. So that concludes today's video. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>